Hello, welcome back. A little update on the table, the table grindage. Went and picked the table up from my dad's friend's place of employment today. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty exciting. It was sort of like a big thing that needed to be done, and uh, it's done. So, um, yeah, running the uh, the test indicator up and down the table is uh, is very nice. Um, gone are the uh, you know twenty plus thou of uh, pretzelism, and um, the uh, the top of the table is perfectly ground to the rails. Uh, the, the deviation in the rail, call it like a, so like a half a thousandths or maybe, uh, seven, ten thousandths, um, sag in the middle of the table, that's from the rails. So, um, yeah, big improvement to, uh, to what it was. Um, I don't know if there's any grinding, grinding aficionados out there, limited experience, um, but I do remember at school, um, Thought this was interesting. You can see, uh, see if I can try to get the light right. Um, right here, and you'll see it up and down the table, not everywhere, but um, that uh, that's normally from, I mean, my guesses would be uh, something called fishtailing, and that can be from, you know, contaminants, like little particulate uh, metallic partic particles in the coolant that, uh, can leave a pattern, but this right here, um, it's not burnt, um, but it definitely has a striation. So it's like the wheel was loaded up towards the end. Um, he needed to dress it and then take a final pass. Um, or it's like bearings in the spindle, or I mean, it could be a million different things. I don't know. Um, it was free 99. It's flat, so it can be done. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, getting this machine put together. You see a little bit of staining here. I'm sort of bummed out about that, but it's gonna happen, you know? Um, I guess it, no one freaking called that sat around for a couple days, but anyways, uh, let's go check out a couple other things. Started tearing apart the uh, enclosure in preparation for, uh, you know, final welding and grinding and all the stuff that needs to uh, needs to take place for the enclosure to uh, before it gets painted. You see where all this stitch welding? That's what the uh, um, that's what the Cicaflex will uh, take care of. I mean, if you try to weld this whole thing up, it would turn into a pretzel. And right now, it's relatively uh, flat, straight. Um, Yeah, it's starting to, starting to happen, matey. Also got a box of uh, Rock Auto Specials. Gonna do a front end job on an old pick em up truck. Made in Mexico. 75 bucks for all that shit. Pretty sweet. All right, back to the Grizz. Um, what else? Wow, that was weird. Oh yeah, the paint. Went to our friends at Sherwin Williams and uh, spent way too long looking at different colors. Um, I mean, when it comes to painting a machine, if you're not gonna paint it like some silly color like pink or green or uh, like purple or something, it's you know you're sort of left with like gray or some version of gray and white and off white. So uh, that's what it is. They got dumb names like. Uh, uh, Let's see, what is this name here? Oh, this just happens to be called Roy Croft Pewter. And uh, the white um, had to go back and actually retint because it was just ridiculously too bright. So I think the first try was called Ice Cube and um, the second try, um, I think the name of it was, uh, oh, Custom Off-White. <laughs> I guess it's now custom. So what else? Yeah, just sort of in a uh, you know general state of disassembly and uh, getting ready for reassembly. My plan for lots of the components, you know, say like this uh, this drawbar right here. Um, 
the uh, the plan is I'm just gonna you know finish it all, bolt it all together, and it'll just be like a you know a little present when it comes time to uh, put it on. Just bam, Bob's your uncle. So that's sort of where we're at. You can see parts and pieces and uh, all over the place. These always save the uh, hundreds of little McMaster car bags and that's uh, what I've been bagging and tagging everything because you know things that got like funny like fasteners or like you know specific custom -y kind of things like it just makes it easier when you spend uh you know six months putting something together you tend to forget the uh the things that you did right in the beginning uh, yeah. no i don't know if i've ever uh showed this on video um this was the or this is the like the drainage return trough for the the coolant system it's sort of neat i haven't um seen uh seen any other like grizzlies sort of going about in this way so uh, might be interesting it's just some sheet metal and uh that i bent up in the brake and then it's all uh like silver uh silver i think actually i braced it um it's all braced together and you can see then it transitions with like a rubber rubber coupling into uh, some PVC, but this thing has some fall to it and it's got fasteners, you know, it's just all soldered together. Anyways, it's sort of neat how it, uh, how it hooks on. You can see on the bottom side of the enclosure, there is two drains. Those drains go up into there. Hello drains. And, uh, yeah, you can see all the flux and stuff from when it was soldered on. Uh. So, yeah, and then this thing just goes through here. And uh, the water uh, returns back. Here's what it looks like. There's one of the drains. And why aren't you turning? Hey, shut up again. There you are. <laughs> There's the other one. Anyways. Yeah. So, yeah, man, just, uh, just been down here. Not really doing a whole lot. Playing. I like to play. Uh, oh, the vacuum cleaner literally exploded today. Um, it was like a... I don't know, it's probably like 20 years old, and um, damn, I'm moving around a lot. Uh, it was like an old Craftsman, and the bearing on the top of the motor exploded and stopped working, so I had to go get a new one. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end this one.